two-week spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful, July 29, August 9, Steffi Stews and Poppy Panics. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The Bold and the Beautiful CBS will air new episodes from July 29 to August 9, 2024. Katie Logan, Heather Tom, will continue to investigate Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park. Despite Brooke Logan's Catherine Kelly Lang, cautions her obsession with Steffi Forrester's Jacqueline Messinswood, husband, Dr. Finn, Tanner Novlin, raises questions about Hope Logan's Annika Knoll behavior while Steffi was away on an out-of-town trip. In the middle of this, Delon Demetz's character Zend Forrester, a fashion photographer, earns acclaim for his superb work on the Brooks bedroom range. A flurry of drama and humor breaks out when Tom Arnold, a new Forrester private pilot, is introduced on the show as Captain Deuce Stevens. While Brooke and Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K., are leaving for the airport, Steffi finds herself in a difficult predicament. After a thoughtful conversation between Poppy and Bill Spencer, Don Diamond, Shocking information regarding Ludanozawa's Lisa Yamada parentage is revealed. As Steffi can't find her passport and Mrs. Brooks' major relaunch, tensions build and Hope Logan enjoys Steffi's professional gaffes. Two-week teaser for Bold and the Beautiful, Will Spencer gets a surprise. When Bill and Poppy's chat moves into the bedroom and Will Spencer, crew Morrow, unexpectedly interrupts his father and his new lover, the story takes an unexpected turn. Bad conversations result from Hope's continued gloating over Steffi's problems. Tension increases as Luna stands up for Bill against Heather Tom's, Katie Logan, charges. In the last scenes, Brooke and Ridge travel to Monte Carlo on a romantic getaway, while Steffi and Hope argue angrily. Luna makes an unexpected and startling discovery in her mother's apartment. Drama is expected in the first week of August, when Brooke and Ridge return home, resulting in a daughter-versus-daughter -daughter conflict and Luna, confronting Poppy about her startling finding. As recast will meet his sister Luna, who was previously unknown, the tension surrounding the Spencer family intensifies during the weeks of July 29 August 9, 2024. That's it for all of your daily news and spoilers about Bold and the Beautiful and check back for updates on the whereabouts of your favorite characters. The sun shone brightly over Los Angeles, but the mood at Forrester Creations was anything but cheerful. Steffi Forrester, co-CEO of the prestigious fashion house, was feeling the pressure. The upcoming fall collection was behind schedule, and tensions were high among the staff. To make matters worse, Steffi was dealing with personal issues that she couldn't shake off. Steffi's relationship with her former lover, Liam Spencer, had always been complicated. Despite their tumultuous history, she couldn't help but feel a pang of jealousy whenever she saw him with his new love interest, Hope Logan. As Steffi sat in her office, reviewing designs for the collection, her thoughts drifted back to happier times with Liam. Steffi, are you okay? Her assistant, Alice, asked gently as she entered the office. Steffi snapped out of her reverie and forced a smile. I'm fine, Alice, just a lot on my mind. Alice nodded, handing Steffi a stack of papers. These are the latest sketches from the design team. They need your approval before we can move forward. Steffi took the papers and sighed. Thanks, Alice, I'll look them over. As Alice left, Steffi leaned back in her chair, staring at the sketches without really seeing them. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing in her life. Little did she know, the next two weeks would bring even more challenges and unexpected twists. Meanwhile, in another part of the Forrester Creations building, Poppy, Katie Logan's ambitious assistant, was in a state of panic. After her failed attempt to sabotage Katie by spiking her drinks with special mints, Poppy was on edge. She knew that Katie was onto her and that it was only a matter of time before she was caught. 
Poppy paced back and forth in her small office, wringing her hands. What am I going to do? If Katie finds out what I did, I'm finished. She glanced at her phone, hoping for some kind of guidance from the mysterious figure who had orchestrated the scheme. But there were no new messages, no instructions. Poppy felt abandoned and desperate. Suddenly, her phone buzzed. Poppy snatched it up, her heart racing. The message was from an unknown number. Meet me at the usual place. We need to talk. Poppy's anxiety spiked. She knew she had no choice but to comply. She grabbed her coat and hurried out of the office, hoping that this meeting would provide some answers and a way and out Steffi of the mess continued she had to stew over her personal and professional troubles. She received an unexpected visit from her brother, Thomas Forrester. Thomas had been away from the company for a while, dealing with his own issues, but he was back and determined to make amends. Hey, Steffi. Thomas greeted her with a tentative smile as he entered her office. Steffi looked up, surprised but pleased to see her brother. Thomas, what are you doing here? I thought it was time I came back and helped out, he replied, sitting down across from her. I know I've made mistakes, but I want to prove that I've changed. Steffi studied him for a moment before nodding. We could use all the help we can get. The fall collection is behind schedule and we need fresh ideas. Thomas smiled, relieved. I'll do my best. Let's make this collection a success. As the siblings began brainstorming ideas, Steffi couldn't help but feel a glimmer of hope. Maybe, just maybe, things were starting to turn around. Poppy arrived at the dimly lit cafe, her nerves on edge. She spotted a figure sitting in a corner booth, partially obscured by shadows. Taking a deep breath, she walked over and sat down. The figure leaned forward, revealing a familiar face. It was Justin Barber, Bill Spencer's former right-hand man. Poppy's heart sank. She had hoped for someone with more power and influence. Justin, she greeted him, trying to keep her voice steady. What's going on? I thought you were out of the picture. Justin's expression was serious. I've been keeping a low profile, but I'm still very much involved. We need to talk about your recent activities. Poppy swallowed hard. I was just following orders. I didn't mean for things to get so out of hand. Justin's gaze was cold. You've put us all at risk. Katie's on to you, and if she finds out the full extent of our plans, it could bring everything crashing down. Poppy's panic intensified. What do you want me to do? Justin leaned back, considering his options. For now, you need to lay low and avoid drawing any more attention to yourself. We'll figure out a way to deal with Katie and the others. Poppy nodded, grateful for the reprieve, but still terrified of what the future held. Back at Forrester Creations, Steffi and Thomas were making progress on the fall collection. Their collaboration was going smoothly, and Steffi felt a renewed sense of purpose. However, her personal life continued to weigh heavily on her mind. One evening, after a long day at the office, Steffi decided to visit her father, Rich Forrester, at his home. She needed his advice and support more than ever. Dad, can we talk? Steffi asked as she entered the living room. Ridge looked up from his book and smiled. Of course, Steffi, what's on your mind? Steffi sat down beside him, taking a deep breath. I've been feeling so lost lately. The pressure at work, my feelings for Liam, it's all getting to be too much. Ridge put an arm around her shoulders. I understand, sweetheart. You've been through a lot, but you're strong and you have a great team supporting you. Steffi sighed. I know, but sometimes it feels like everything is falling apart. Ridge nodded thoughtfully. Maybe it's time to focus on yourself for a while. Take a step back and figure out what truly makes you happy. Steffi pondered his words, realizing that she needed to find balance in her life. It was time to prioritize her own well-being and let go of the past. As the days passed, Poppy's anxiety continued to grow. She was constantly looking over her shoulder, fearing that Katie or someone else at Forrester Creations would discover her involvement in the sabotage. She knew she needed to find a way out of this mess, but she was running out of options. 
One afternoon, while sorting through some files in Katie's office, Poppy came across a document that caught her eye. It was a contract detailing a potential merger between Forrester Creations and a smaller, up-and-coming fashion house. Poppy's mind raced as she realized the potential leverage this information could provide. She quickly took a photo of the document with her phone, deciding to use it as a bargaining chip if things went south. If she could prove her loyalty to the right people, maybe she could secure her position and avoid the consequences of her actions. Katie Logan had been suspicious of Poppy for some time, and her instincts told her that something was amiss. She decided to take matters into her own hands and confront Poppy directly. Katie arranged a private meeting in her office, determined to get to the bottom of the situation. Poppy, I need to speak with you, Katie said firmly as Poppy entered the office.